Hello, this is Angela Anderson. Thanks for joining me for this acrylic painting tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to paint a snowman. We're going to be keeping it really simple tonight. Uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'll show you step by step how to do it from start to finish. Got my husband, Mark, with me. Hey there, everybody. And then in chat for our live show tonight. So if you've got questions, you can ask them in chat and I'll try to answer. Let's get started. Alrighty, so I'm going to be using a 10 by 10 inch canvas today. I decided to go ahead and crop it down. It was like a long um, image with a lot of um, empty space on the side. So I just went ahead and cropped it. Uh, you could use whatever size canvas works for you though. I'm using a Frederick's uh, linen, uh, I'm sorry, Pro uh, Dixie cotton canvas, not linen, uh, 10 by 10 inch, like I said. And then I've coated it with a very light coat of ultramarine blue. Um, really any blue undercoat will be fine. We're just going to have a little bit of a tint under here to help us uh, along tonight. I've got several brushes that we'll be using for our snowman. Basically, you're going to want some sort of a brush that's got a little bit of a texture so that you can do some stippling um, on him to give him a little texture, snow-like texture. So I've got several different sizes of a different stippler, uh, 3 8 uh, I'm sorry, 316, 3 8 and 5 8 And then I've also got a 6 in the round blender, which um, might help get into the, some of the smaller areas. I've also got my Willows blenders. So really any of these or combination of all of them will work. Um, these are the blenders uh, from the Princeton Velvet Touch Lines. The blue handles are the Select from Princeton quarter inch and 3 8 inch blender here. And in the red handles there. And then I've also got a quarter inch angle, a four round, a three aught round, a one round for some of the details like the eyes and face and scarf. And then I grabbed a fan brush for our splattering of our snow. We'll get to the end here. We're gonna add some snow. So it should be a lot of fun. Um, let's go over colors. Oh, I also grabbed a large a uh, flat brush. So this is a 10 bright to do some of the larger areas in the background. All right. Uh, colors are carbon black. Let me move my camera over. I got moved again. Bumped. Carbon black, burnt umber, burnt sienna, yellow oxide, cadmium yellow medium, phthalo green, yellow shade, uh, phthalo blue green shade, ultramarine blue, uh, doxazine purple, uh, I'm sorry, quinacridone magenta, not doxazine purple. Um, it's missing right there. <laughs> Uh, cadmium red medium and light and cadmium orange and then unbleached titanium titanium white and this is my glazing liquid i got going so fast there i forgot what colors i was using <laughs> <laughs> and who are you going to blame for the camera move this time uh i don't know mm -hmm. liam oh right right <laughs> <laughs> poor defenseless grandchild <laughs> all right um, let's go ahead and draw him in um, slightly so that we kind of know where to do our snow around him. Um, I'm pretty much going to leave the background fairly dark. I, th I think, I know our reference photos shows this um, snowy background, but I really want him to show up a little bit better. So I'm going to just kind of um, take out most of this background and just give him a little bit of um, a, like a lower um, horizon line on here so that we have more of the snow on the sides. All right, or more of the background sky showing. So let's go ahead and move him up here. Um, I want to place him mainly like right in the middle here. So I'm just going to mark out sort of the boundaries of where I want his hat and his the bottom of his body to be. So somewhere in there. Now we could bring him all the way down if you wanted to and move his arms so that they're coming up here. That's another option. Hmm. Do we want to do that? Maybe we do want to do that. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if we can draw it in. If it doesn't work, then we can always move him back. But that way we won't have to worry about where he is coming out. And we can make him a little bit bigger that way too. Although, then we can't put our little animals in like I was thinking of doing. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, so this was going to be easy. But well, <laughs> I know. Mark's like, <laughs> you said it was going to be an hour. So if we did it like that, we could get his arms in there. They'd just be kind of look a little bit more like upright. What do we think? What is chat saying? Do we want bigger snowman? Or do we want smaller snowman? Chat I think right hasn't, in there. 
caught up. Cat doesn't care. Okay. Chat wants it done, like, really fast so Mark can eat. Okay. I kind of... I'm I'm pretty much sure that chat's not saying that. I'm kind of like... Almost guarantee. I'm paraphrasing. (laughs) Okay. I think this will work. And we can... We can maybe still fit a bunny in here, right over here. Like, so we got votes for bigger and smaller. <laughs> I mean, it's really. Well, I, I would say you do you. I kind of like I kind of like having it go off the edge because yeah. then that way we don't have to worry about the foreground and stuff. I so. like that idea. Okay, let's do that. We'll just kind of make it a little bit because lighter down here. What your title says, easy snowman. So we're making right. it easy. Exactly. Okay. Good. Good thought. It's good not thought. A, good, a character judgment. Good thought. It's just going to be easy to do. Easy to do. <laughs> yeah. No. All right. I'm getting ultramarine blue and a little bit of the phthalo blue, and I'm going to add just a little bit of. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of black and white to make kind of gray it out a little bit. I don't want it too dark. I want it to be a little bit dark, a little bit darker than that, though. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of go around my snowman a little bit. I didn't really explain what as I was drawing him in what I was doing there, so I'll just have to do that later. So to paraphrase, she was making some circles. Well, I just made a larger oval here and then another yeah, circle on top. It's, it's not that hard. But I should go over it a little bit more carefully. We'll draw the arms back in. I am just kind of wanted to see if they would work, so we're not going to worry about that. And I'm just going to go along the sides here and just fill that in. Somebody had asked if they mm-hmm. don't have chalk and they use like a watercolor pencil. Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah, whatever works on here. You just don't want to re- use regular pencil. That's the main thing. Pastels or chalk or watercolor pencil. Anything that's water soluble. That I'm going to have to move my mic up because I'm hitting it with this. Okay. So I want to go a little bit darker at the top. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of both of those colors and just mix it in up at the top here just a little bit. So that I've got a little bit darker. And you can see that I'm letting that background, or maybe you can't, but letting that background show through in some places too. Um, and I'm just going to kind of go over most of this area and really kind of come in on the snowman a little bit too so that I don't have to worry about the... And I could I could have done a little bit darker um, color to begin with. So if you don't want to have to do this over the top of your ultramarine blue, you could start with this color. But... I just wasn't sure exactly where I wanted to place him, so I just did the whole thing with the lighter ultramarine blue here. Again, a little bit darker up here at the top. And pick up a little bit of water too to make that flow on the canvas easily. There we go. Okay, so just kind of Blending it in a little bit as I go. Just started over here and kind of worked my way around. And then down here at the bottom, I'm going to get some more white. And kind of work in some white around the sides and up just a little bit. Kind of where the snow might be swirling up on the sides a little bit. And then I'm just basically kind of dry brushing this up into the wet paint. So there we go. And a quick hello to everybody. Yes, hello. Welcome. It's Welcome. December 1st, 2020. I know. You know what that means. What? Taco Tuesday. <laughs> we are doing tacos tonight. He's just excited about that. Okay, so that's a little bit too bright there. So if you do that, if you go on too bright, 
um, just wipe your brush off, pick up a little bit of your darker color, and start up above it and just pull down from it. If it picks it up like that, wipe it off again, pick up some more of that blue, and pull down. And just keep doing that until it kind of pulls off that extra paint that you've got on there. Okay, that's good. See that? So over here I need to do the same thing, just kind of blend that out a little bit, pick up some of my darker color that's above right here. Start from there and pull down into my lighter color. There we go. Now it looks like it's just kind of snow blowing up into the into the air right there. Okay, I like it. All right, so let's draw him again for real. <clears throat> so I moved him down, so we're going to make him, I'm going to actually put his hat way up here, so I'm going to make his face even a little bit bigger than we did um, before. So I'm going to bring him all the way up to here, and there's just like a little dip in his hat right at the top, right there, and then it rounds out there, and then kind of squares off right here. So this little dip is kind of a little off center of where his face is and then come up and do a curved line all the way out to cut that off there looks like a beret right now so if you did an artist one you could do a little beret and give him a little beanie uh, thing right there but we're going to keep going here and we're going to come out from that on either side and curve it down like that okay so that's the second layer of his cap or the rim and then we're gonna bring it around like that for the top of his face and then we're gonna have a carrot nose right here that's almost touching the hat and I'm just gonna go ahead and draw that in so I know I have plenty of room for the rest of his face so there's just two eyes and I actually need to move those up because they're kind of high up in here maybe make his nose a little bit smaller i thought about giving doing a mask but for you know 2020 but uh, i was like how you the, you know how would you know he's a snowman because you don't have the carrot nose so just decided not to not to go there <laughs> all right so something in there like that i think i'm going to make the nose go a little bit to the side um, and maybe make the eyes a little bit farther. He's looking a little scary right now. So let me wipe that off and try that again. So I'm going to come down here for the side of his face. Hair and hair. So nose, let's do a little off center there. And eye and eye. Okay, there we go. And then the smile goes wider than the eyes. So leave room for your smile to go a little bit wider than the eyes, possibly. Kind of don't like that face. I'm going to have to work on that. And then his, his scarf comes right up to the bottom of his mouth and comes out the sides of his face a little bit. So bring that face in, there and there. I think if I get these a little closer together, that's gonna be cuter. There we go, I'm gonna make his eyes a little closer together. your scarf and then it comes down like this folds over streamers and then his body comes out right here out each side I feel like I make I'm, I'm gonna make his face bigger I feel like I'm still doing it too small I'm kind of still sizing him for 
being farther away. So I'm going to widen out his face a little bit. Okay, so something like that. Let's go ahead and get painting on him. So I'm going to grab the kind of middle size here to start. I'm going to grab some white and some of the ultramarine blue. Go fairly dark with this and I'm going to grab a little bit of the brown and that'll going to gray out that ultramarine blue just a little bit. I don't want too gray though, so not too much brown. Just a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to darken up this side of him right here. So I'm going to go along here. And it'll end up being a little bit lighter than him in some areas. Like up in here. And then down here it'll be closer to the same color. So if it's too close to the same color, we're just going to add a little bit of the darker color so that it shows up against that. Really at this point I'm not worried about the texture too much. I'm just worried about kind of getting this color on there so that we have something to work with. And we've already got some blue in there so um, we can start going a little bit lighter at this point. Um, so I'm going to go on this side. Um, I've still got that blue in my brush so this side is going to be a little bit lighter. We'll call this our light side. Even though it's kind of an overcast day and he's kind of lit up from above this photograph. It doesn't have a real distinct light and dark side, but this side is just slightly darker, I feel like, in our photograph. So we'll do it that way. So I'm just kind of tapping and brushing to give him like a fluffiness to his outer edge here. So as I'm getting on that outer edge, I'm just kind of fluffing him out just a little bit. brush just because I've got a pretty good amount of, to cover here and I'm gonna get a little bit more of the white so that's just a larger deer foot mm -hmm. this is just the 5 8 inch one okay now we can see some of that white coming in and I'm gonna go right up to that scarf and as I fill it in, I'm going to just kind of do it in swirls so that it's going to create these little pockets of a little bit darker color, a little bit lighter color, and it'll look kind of fluffy like snow. If we were to paint it on too thickly, too quickly, and not have this dark color underneath, it would, it would look like a solid white. We wouldn't have as much dimension. So we're just kind of trying to give them just a little bit of dimension. It's really, it's kind of tricky on white sometimes to get you know, get dimension because it's such a light color. There's not a lot of contrast. Um, so we're just giving a little bit of contrast by kind of working in these swirls onto that darker blue background. And then when I'm getting over here, I'm going to go ahead and just tap where I've already got color. And I just want to add a little bit of it. I don't need to swirl it in there because it's already on there. It's already got some of that white in there. Okay, so I'm going to go a little bit brighter right here, kind of towards this side. And then as I get over here, I'm just going to kind of use what's left in my brush. I haven't reloaded. I kind of started over here, and now that I know I'm pretty much down to the last little bits, that's when I'm going to go over here and just tap in just a little bit. And it's going to have very little paint on my brush. And it'll, but it'll give me a little texture over here. So I can pick up just a little bit more of that white by tapping it in and kind of starting in that area where it's already light and kind of bringing out some more this way. But I, I'm pretty happy with that color. I can see where he starts in the body, you know, that he, he ends in the 
background starts there. I think I'm going to bring it out this way though a little bit. I feel like it's a little bit narrow right there, so I'm just going to bring his body up just a little bit right there. And maybe go ahead and darken up that bottom of him just a little bit on both sides. Okay, so there's our little fluffy snowman. So right up underneath his scarf here, we're going to have a little bit of a shadow. So I'm going to just fluff that area all the way across. Get a little bit of snow there and then get some of my white and just kind of blend out that edge just a little bit right there. Up just a little bit of darker blue right there and my scarf was coming down right in here somewhere so I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of tap it, some of this in sort of behind where that scarf was gonna be so that it'll peek out from the sides of it just a little bit and I've got a little bit extra blue here it's going on a little bit dark but that's okay I'm gonna wipe my brush off and just pick up some more of that white. And then I'm just gonna kinda go in here and sort of lightly tap in around it to sort of blend that out just a little bit. We can always go back in later once we get our scarf in there if we didn't get enough of a shadow here. Um, but now that we've got a shadow, then we can kinda work with it and we can put our scarf on this side. Um, and leave some of this darker color on this other side over here where we know that'll be like a little bit of a shadow happening okay and then i'm also wanting to shadow my buttons so there's going to be three buttons down the middle so i'm going to shadow right there right there and right there just put a little bit of blue if we do this first it just makes it easier so we don't have to do it again later and try to paint around something and not get you know the blue paint on it. If we just have it there, we can we can paint around it, um, or we can paint our item on top of it. I mean, okay. So adding a little bit more of that light blue. There we go. Nice and icy snowman. Like there's no way this is going to be only an hour. No, you have a two-hour. I have two window. hours. Window. Okay. So, and I will eat while you're <laughs> streaming. So I've okay. done that before. Yeah, you have. So you you just go ahead. And okay. Have fun. If it's three hours, then you'll just have to close up shop on your own because I'll be in bed. <laughs> live streaming if you can dab then uh, you can do a snowman pretty much pretty much these are one of my favorite things to paint I know I I just I know my my Facebook group didn't vote for this but I I had to do it I just have I feel like it's not Christmas unless I get to paint a snowman <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay so he's pretty blue here, all over his face, kind of a light blue. So to give him some dimension, we're going to need to lighten up that middle part. So I'm going to just get some of that white. Just give him a little bit of a brightness right here in the middle face. And this is going on fairly thick. You can see it's kind of gloopy. So I'm going to need to wipe that brush. And that's just because my brush was a little bit wet, I think. And now I can tap back over it and just push that paint around a little bit so that it's not so... that didn't sound good. So that it's not so... Uh, Sounded like a Mandalorian falling. Is that the Mandalorian ship? Our boys did a Lego set. Our boys are ni 19 and up, so <laughs> did one for Thanksgiving. It was really fun. I say we, I spent about five minutes on it. 
and they spent about three hours. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Falling. It uh, was the grabby thing for the fireplace. Oh, good. Okay. He just bumped into the, the great thing and it knocked it okay, over. Okay, good. Good. Nothing major. I thought it was the Mandalorian for a minute. <sighs> I was telling them about the Mandalorian. Oh, no. That would be a tra tragedy. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. And you'll find that like white will um, kind of almost like absorb down into the canvas and become darker as it dries. It's really um, interesting how that works. So um, I may have to go in here a couple of times to add more brightness to my whites, but that's that's normal. That's totally normal. So I just need to make sure that I have like a little bit of a dark blue up here where that hat's going to go over the top of his forehead and sort of where his nose is going to attach, where his eyes are going to be. But I may just not worry about that right now and just add that back in later because I'm not exactly sure where those are going to go yet. I'm going to shadow just a little bit on his bottom corner here, round out that cheek on the dark side of him. Fun, fun, fun. All right, so. I'm going to go ahead and get the quarter inch angle brush here and my black and I'm going to add some of this blue gray color and we'll make this his hat. You can make his hat any color you wanted to really It'd be cute in a color. It doesn't have to be black. But I like the classic black and white with the snowman. I really like that color combo so I'm gonna go ahead and stick with black here I'm gonna narrow down the sides of his face just a little bit and then right back in here I'm gonna go darker black so I'm gonna get the straight black and actually in both sides right here where it kind of comes down. I'm gonna go straight black. And then while I've got that black wet, I'm just gonna add my lighter gray around the side of it and just blend that in a little bit. just looking at the image and just sort of drawing it out. So I want kind of an angle right here where that hat edge comes out and then I want it to come up and around. And then this part of it, I'm gonna go black again. And this part's gonna come out to however wide the cheek is right here. So I'm gonna have to bring that out a lot more. And then same thing here, so that cheek is right there, so I'm going to bring that out right to here. And the top can be about the same. The top's about pretty much right. I'm not going much taller, I just was bringing it out a little wider. So go ahead and go black right there. wet. I'm going to go ahead and get some of this lighter gray. 
fill in the top part of the hat with that. Now my paint wasn't wasn't going anywhere there, so I just need to add a little bit of water to it. Pick up a little bit more paint. A lot of times people just pick up paint instead of adding water, but you need to add a little bit of water also, otherwise it just won't flow off your brush when it starts to do that. It gets sticky and kind of just doesn't want to move. So I'm going to go ahead and go pretty bright right there. I'm just going to dab that in. Let me go ahead and grab my grab my little um, quarter inch blender here. And because this part of the hat's got a little bit of a texture. And just pull that down into that paint. It's dry, it's gonna go on a little bit thicker, but that's fine. Either way, if this blue, if this black down here is dry, that's fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of fill it in a little bit more with the wet paint here, and then just use this textured brush to kind of smush it around and add a little bit of dimension. It'll just kind of pick up the paint in places and move it around a little bit. I'm going to get a little bit of that dark black there. Start at the bottom where it's going to be a little bit darker. Just tap in along there. And I can go over the edge a little bit too. I'm kind of going over that edge just slightly and just tap it up into that wet paint there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go in here with my wet gray paint and then go back to this brush and just smush it around. Okay. Then up here at the top of the hat, there's just a little area right here where there's a little highlight. So I'm going to start from the top right here and just swish it down right there. And I'm just going to do it a couple of times. I don't have a lot of paint in my brush, so it's kind of blending out right there. And then I'm going to come this way and do a little bit from that direction. And that's all I'm going to do. I don't want to overdo this. I might do just a little bit more over the top right here, but that's all I need on that black. You really don't need a whole lot. But I don't have a lot of paint in my brush, and that's the key. If you have too much paint, it, it just won't do anything. Now, if you did put too much paint on there, you could always do something like what we did with this and just kind of use this brush to kind of push that black back up in here and blend out that edge. So um, that's totally, you know, something that you could do with this brush too. But I think that's all I'm going to do with that hat. It looks pretty good. All right. How you doing, hun? Uh, <clears throat> all systems are go. I'm doing good. Good. How are you? I'm good. We started a new giveaway today. We did, I know. days of Christmas. I've got a link down in the description of how they can join. So it's December 1st through 12th. Of 2020. Of 2020. We're doing a new giveaway every day on our channel uh, community page. Okay, I'm going to get this light, this dark blue. I'm just going to go in here and kind of clean up that edge right there. I just didn't like what it was doing right there. So I'm just going over that black just a little bit right there. You probably don't have to do that. So hopefully you didn't do that on yours, but that's just a me thing right there. Yeah, so um, I'm excited. we got a lot of really good prizes, a lot of good vendors. have been very generous with their yep. donations, and we're going to be giving away some really fun stuff, so... Um, there's information about how to enter and everything on the posts. And then if you want to join my newsletter, um, we, we're sending out newsletter um, newsletters about it too, about how to enter and that kind of thing. I mean, how, how much fun can you have with a case of canvases? <laughs> a lot. <clears throat> it's awesome. I mean, can you play Frisbee with them? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay so I'm trying to picture the face in my head here I'm going to go I think somewhere in here let's just try that and see what it looks like and if we hate it we can always paint over it I think that'll be good then no 
those right there. And then our little smiley somewhere in here. So I gotta be careful if I see you coming at me with the paintbrush. Why? Because you just said if we hit it, we can paint over it. <laughs> I'll be watching you out of the corner yeah. of my eye. <laughs> we don't hate you, honey. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna wait on that and like see if I can, if I like it. And while that's setting up, I'm gonna go ahead and paint in our buttons here. So I'm gonna start, we did our shadow here. So I'm gonna go just slightly to the this side of them. And we can leave a little bit of that dark um, showing on this side, you know, where it's pressed down into the snow, but somewhere like that. I've switched to my number four round here. Okay, I'm back. Okay. You didn't miss anything. All right, good. Just paint buttons. I'll zoom out so you can, so they can see all the buttons. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Hey, I'm on the ball. It's a new month. <laughs> new month. If you wanted to, you could use the back end of a brush for this, like, or use a stencil. There's all kinds of different ways that you can kind of cheat it. If you, you know, if you absolutely don't want to paint a circle, so, or you know that it stresses you out, you can make it a lump of coal. Don't have to be a button. So a lump of coal would be just a, you know, random black shape. And that way you don't have to have it just right. If you go off the edge like I just did. What were you starting to say? I'm sorry, I cut you off. Oh, I'm sure it was very timely and witty, so okay. we just got to move on. <laughs> okay. All right, so I'm going to go and add a little rounded highlight good in that light gray here just kind of adding a little I'm not going all the way around the buttons just like a little bit here a little bit there on either side just to kind of give it a little dimension show that kind of rim that you know hangs out around the buttons edge there and I forgot to leave the little dots, so I'm going to get a little bit of the light blue. Where I didn't forget, I just painted over. I'm going to dab a little bit of the light blue there to put my buttonholes back in. Cute. And this will be dark because it's, you know, it's not going to be like super light. Because it's not catching the light down in here. This is the shadowed area that's got the button. So <sighs> cute. Okay, I like it. Oops. Let's go ahead and get the black hair. I think I do want to make his eyes. Um, maybe make his eyes pieces of coal. So I'm going to kind of flatten them out and kind of make them a regular shaped a little bit, like flatten out the bottom and then just kind of square off the tops of them just a little bit. Okay, then pick up some of that white and I'm going to flatten out my brush and that way I can kind of make some flat planes. So my light side is over here, so I'm going to kind of do a couple light areas right there on either side and then wipe most of that off and then just kind of do a little around just a little bit little bit uh, darker gray along the sides just a little bit and leaving this area down here darkest where is our shadow side right there 
Oh, we got little lumps of coal for the eyes. So that's how you can do the buttons too if you don't want to have to worry about the buttons. And I think I'm going to go ahead and grab just a little bit of really bright white on the tip of my brush and just do a little highlight right there and there. Just uh, make it a little bit sparkly. And then get some of this thinned out black here. We have a question. Mm -hmm. Somebody would like to know, could they use a pouncer <clears throat> for the button in the eyes mm, yeah if it yeah if you're doing it big enough um if you got a big enough one or even a, a q-tip or something like that yeah or a cotton swab good job just thickening out that little bit right there i don't really know what this would be looks like a piece of plastic in our reference photo doesn't have to make sense. Oh, I meant to make his cheeks red, but I'll have to do that after. I might have to paint the smile back in. All right, so let's do our little carrot nose. So I'm gonna get some of the um, quinacridone burnt orange here. I'm sorry, not quinacridone burnt orange. Cadmium red light, I don't know why I said that. I was thinking I didn't put out quinacridone burnt orange. It would probably work. I'm going to get a little bit of burnt sienna and quinacridone magenta to make a darker burnt orange color right there, okay? And so let's go ahead and figure out where his nose is going to be. It's going to be somewhere in here. Okay, I think that's cute. So did you ever figure out where that, uh, who that dog harness came from? No, I don't know. So thank you to whoever sent us a dog harness. Yeah. It's really cool. It works really well. On the dog. On the dog, yes. <laughs> Except when like, he's like super really spazzing out. Oh my gosh. He's, which is like all the time this weekend. I think we need to have like a special shelf or cabinet where we're going to keep all the stuff he's chewed on. Oh, God. That he's not supposed to. He chewed on so many of Liam's toys this weekend. Book. <sighs> okay, so while that was wet, I grabbed a little bit of the um, orange there and um, added that. I'm going to go ahead and add some yellow to... Just continue to kind of brighten this up, mainly just on the very tip. I don't want it to be too dark down low, but I do want it to kind of look rounded. So I'm when I'm putting these in, I'm kind of curving the colors, curving my lines a little bit so that it's got a little bit of a roundedness. And let's go ahead and add a little bit of white, too. Get a little bit bright, bright orange right at the tip. Now, if your paint starts to get sticky or it's just not wanting to set up, which is starting, I'm getting a lot of layers of paint here, so I'm just going to have to stop and let it dry completely before I try to add any more paint. But I think that's working pretty good there for me, so... Pretty happy with it. I'm going to get just a little bit more of this black and round up his eye up here. I feel like it needs to be a little higher right there. Okay. It's cute. Let's see. Okay, so I got my, his cheeks are pretty dry there. I'm going to go ahead and give him some red in his cheeks. Now, this is where you have to be really, really, really careful. So I'm going to get a little bit of red, and then I'm going to wipe it out so that there's basically nothing left in my brush. Think about like when you're blushing on yourself, you know. And guys, you may not be able to relate to this, but 
um, you you don't have to have a lot on look at how much is coming off of my brush on just on the paper towel so if we were doing this on here we would have just this huge red mess right so I want to wipe this off until hardly anything is coming off on my paper towel anymore and that's when I know it's going to be ready to go over here and I'm just going to very lightly scrub where my cheeks are and it may rub some of that black off make sure your black is dry or don't or do this before you do your black even better there we go oh he's got some cheeks cute cute so he's definitely too too uh blue at this point so i'm going to go ahead and grab some of that snow and come in here and go around this And I'm just going to go over his mouth because I'm going to, I don't have enough of the light color on here. I kind of jumped the gun on my, on my facial details here. No, no surprise. Mark's laughing because like <laughs> nothing new. very lightly do this before you do your final details on your face please I should have done this while my eyes were still just barely outlined and that way I wouldn't have to be painting around them I'm keeping it right in the middle though see how that's kind of creating that little bit of a glow keep it and just build it up slowly don't don't put too much paint on here at once if you put too much paint you're just going to be fighting to control it so just kind of go slowly I'm not worried about that mouth I'm just going to paint back over it I'm going to go a little bit brighter on this side but keep it low because I want to keep that dark area up there under his hat so the light might just hit right at like right in here somewhere. Just sit back and listen. Close your eyes. Scrub a scrub. Scrub a scrub. The snow going on. Our snowman. Okay. Now I can get some of that red again. I might not need much. I even get a little bit of the magenta. Wipe most of it off. There we go. Now see, this is going on a little bit pinker too because that there's more white underneath and I have a little bit of white in my red I think the uh, the white just helped tint it a little bit it was too it went on too dark before so that's how I kind of was like oh wait a minute my cheeks aren't bright enough <laughs> my cheeks are too dark because <laughs> when I put that red on it was just basically dark you know just gonna tap because that paint's kind of thick right there Trying to make it a little bit more magenta and less orange, but I don't hate it. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and get my, I'm going to get my number one round now since I got to do some smaller details here. And I'm just going to fix my eyes. I got snow on them. This a little bit. This one didn't get as bad as the other one did. And then I put my mouth back in. So. I 
wet down your paint so that it's fluid um, when you're doing this and you can do it in like small sections too when we did our snowman last year we did we did his mouth kind of like stitches and it was like little sections so you could do it that way too so that it's a little bit easier if you don't like to you know do a big long line like this if it kind of you don't want to do something that's going to stress you out now you do want to challenge yourself from time to time but you know if you're like not ready for it and you just feel like that this would be make it not fun for you then you know there's other ways of doing it you could use a marker um, and there's all kinds of different cheats ways to not cheat but you know make it make it more accessible for you to do I've learned all of the cheats because I did kids classes for so long and you really need to make it you know easy for them to do stuff so we used markers a lot so if we were if I was doing this with a kids class we would definitely do this part with a marker it would just make it a lot more fun for them and everybody involved and they have uh, acrylic paint markers now that um, are specifically made with acrylic paint for the for this very kind of thing that makes it very easy to do okay i'm pretty good with that i got a little snow on my nose so i'm gonna go ahead and that sounded really weird i <laughs> didn't not that kind of snow um <laughs> angela i'm sorry i just thought of i don't know why but that was good. I it know. was funny. <laughs> I wish I had thought of it. Oh, I laughed so hard at your joke today. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was in the car with Spencer and I laughed so hard. <laughs> I just kept laughing all the way home. So I read this thing from MIT today and I sent it to Mark because it was like saying how they kind of studied mask wearing and COVID and, you know, how long it's safe for you to be in a, like a grocery store, that kind of thing. And it was like, you know, if there are a thousand people in Walmart, then and one pos positive, and one person. positive COVID person, then you have about an hour to get out before even wearing a mask, you know, before you might be exposed. And, and then uh, her next text, and then my next text said 20 minutes with masks in a home situation. Right. 20 minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. And then Mark's next text was, I don't think we can fit a thousand people in our house. <laughs> yeah, so that's so, very true. So it doesn't matter very really. Very true, right. So we're okay. The study doesn't apply to us. <laughs> yeah. Just making that lighter and look at what my finger does. It's just going to blend that out. So now, what size finger are you using to blend that out? Is that a <laughs> number, number four round? Little finger. Do you want me to show you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you really want me to demonstrate? <laughs> no, that's okay. okay. Sorry, kids. <laughs> Just ignore, ignore us. We're being silly. I swear, kind of like the person on the signs, that movie Signs, when the guy went running around trying to swear at the alien on his roof. That's how I sound when I try to swear. It doesn't come off right. This doesn't sound right. <laughs> All right, so it went a little bit brighter. It just felt like it, like it wasn't dark. It wasn't bright enough. And then I'm going to take the black and kind of just go the opposite way and kind of blend it back out a little bit. <laughs> oh, 
All right, there we go. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Nice drum solo Can't there. Stand it. <laughs> All right, getting some yellow and orange and white. So the yellow will just really brighten up this this highlight on our carrot nose. And I'm gonna wipe most of that off and just kind of blend it out. It's a little bit too white, so I'm gonna get a little bit more of my orange and just kind of go right down the middle there with this and as I go down I'm going to get a little bit more of the orange I'll leave that bright color right at the very tip of the nose and again I'm kind of going back and forth in this kind of semicircle brush stroke so that I'm getting these kind of lines in my carrot I don't want it to be a smooth blend because I want it to be kind of a you know, look like a carrot. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna round it out a little bit more right here. All right, I'm gonna call that good. You got a little sweet cheeks, little soft highlights there on his cheeks. I'm gonna get a little bit of the white Make sure I don't get any of the yellow in there. <coughs> and I'm going to come up right up underneath the eyes here and give them a little bit of a highlight right under the eyes. Let me just use my fingers to blend that out. See that? Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here. Very light. This is These kind of little details are what really kind of set it apart. You can leave them out though, you know, you don't have to do all these little steps that I'm doing. But kind of having a little bit of a glow there will kind of, I don't know, make those eyes kind of sparkle a little bit. Now under the carrot, there's a little bit more of a shadow, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go under the carrot and do a little bit of the blue right there. And then I'm going to do some of the blue around this side. Of the eyes okay just a little shadow is all you need and I'm just going to use that brush to kind of help blend that out just a little bit just kind of a damp brush here not really any color on here to speak of we don't talk about it <laughs> okay and then let's do a little bit for the che the mouth too because that's got to be kind of set in there too. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of go underneath the mouth into the side of it just a little bit. Give it a little highlight and I'm going to get my white. Blend through that. Use my white and add a little bit, very, very light and keep my brush very small. Now you might want to use a smaller brush for this if you have trouble getting a small line with your number four. So you can switch to a little bit smaller brush. No, no worries. Let's go ahead and give him a couple of highlights there. Oh, he's got sparkly eyes. Looks happy. I like it. Very cute. All right, let's go ahead and put a little more sparkle on our buttons too. On the top line, let's go ahead and get a smaller brush for this. Let's just make it easier. A little bit of a 3 aught or liner brush, just whatever works for you. Whatever brush you've got that's kind of the smallest round. And let's see, where would our highlight be? Probably like right here because it's going to be shining down, right? So maybe like right in here we're going to have a little highlight. That feels like it's too bright. Let me try that again. Maybe take off just a little bit of that paint so it's not quite so bright. There we go. Okay, now we got just a little extra sparkle on our buttons too. All right, let's do our scarf and we'll, oh, we need our arms too. Let's do the arms first. Get the, sorry, what time is it? Seven. We're still making good time. The scarf won't take too long. 
I hope those arms aren't relatives. <clears throat> what? I said I hope those arms are not relatives. I don't know what you of mean. our of our mascot. Of our mascot. How soon she forgets about Oh stick man? Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Sick man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just making sure the main thing when I'm doing branches like this is just making sure that they narrow as I go out from the branch from the you know end of the branch so these are going to be narrower than uh, as it gets down here it's going to be thicker and that way it's going to look more natural so if I have like a really skinny part of the branch like right here that's not right so I've got to thicken that out so that this part is thicker than this up here okay oh he's cute he's And yeah, his, uh, I probably could have done him a little bit shorter, maybe, but it comes up to about the hat, you know, somewhere up in here. So let's go ahead and do this one a little bit straighter. It's kind of like right like this, somewhere like that. And kind of make sure that I'm getting them kind of attached near to the same area on the body relatively okay and then I'm going to get the unbleached titanium Maybe a little bit of yellow oxide. Mix it with that brown just a little bit. So I've just got kind of all three colors on here. And then I'm just going to remember our light sides over here. So I'm just going to kind of highlight the top and on this side of the branch. In the areas that I think it might be catching some light. Like right in here maybe. Okay, getting a little bit more of that. Now this side is kind of dry so we can kind of just dry brush this on just kind of lightly dragging it. By dry brushing, I mean I'm kind of letting the texture of the canvas pull that paint off my brush. don't have a lot of paint on my brush. I'm just kind of very lightly skimming it on my canvas so that it kind of creates a little bit of textured effect and that'll make really effective bark texture for our limbs here. Okay, I think that's good. Cute. Alrighty. Uh, let's go ahead and use this one. We'll see if this works for our scarf. We'll see. I'm not sure. Uh, no promises. <laughs> and you can make your scarf really any color you want. This one's got all these multicolors in it, which. I, you know, it was cute. We'll, we'll see. I'm going to use a little bit of the thalo blue and white. Create kind of a light blue that's just a little bit different tone. Maybe let's go ahead and add the, the purple one first at the top. And that way it'll kind of give us a border. A lot of water there. So I'm getting the quinacridone magenta and mixing it with that blue, thala blue a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and... So 
So this one's got some kind of starting there and then it also kind of comes out right here. And then comes down right here. And I'm just going to kind of pull down with this to create my little stringy, stringy things happening. Very lightly. Okay. We'll wipe that off. Clean it out a little bit. And get that blue. I'm going to go pretty light, so I'm going to get some more white here and go right up next to that one. And this time it's coming a little bit farther, like right in there. And then this blue is curving around, down, and all the way out here. blue. Get some thala blue here. I'm going to bring that up all the way out. There we go nice and dark. And by doing it kind of with this brush, it's giving me kind of that texture that I want for that look of the scarf. So I'm being kind of deliberately messy with them, letting them kind of overlap a little bit. And I can kind of tap in a little bit to create kind of that feel of stitching. Right. Very lightly. Okay, and then we'll put a stripe of blue down here. Get some little thing of bobs there. Okay, wipe that off. I'm going to get that lighter blue again and bring that blue down right there over the top of that. Tap the light blue over into the blue, the darker blue a little bit. Give it some of that stitching feel. Okay. And then I don't know what that color is. It looks like a kind of a light pink. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of the cadmium red light or cadmium red medium, I mean, and some of the magenta and make a light pink with some white. Curving it down. Making it disappear. Pulling that stripey down here. And it's just the P 
pink area with a little bit of a stitching. Okay. Red, again, we can do this a lot easier just by kind of making this a solid color if you wanted to, so don't feel like you have to do all these colors if you don't like it. I'm going to make this more of a cherry red, though. I want to add a little bit of that quinacridone magenta to the cadmium red medium. That way it's kind of a little bit more of a bright color. Cute. some of that red there and then there's another little strip of red right here Going in with some white, kind of lighten up that pink area. I think it's supposed to be actually white in our picture. It just looks pink. I'm gonna get some purple here and bring it up right there. green and ultramarine blue and I think I'm going to make it kind of more of a teal green instead of that olive color. Maybe a little bit of white. There we go. Kind of a spruce green, sage green. just to have it bookend there. Cute. Okay. What? Can we get the most rumbliest car to go by while I we're streaming live? <laughs> Our neighbors get the prize for the noisiest cars. That's for sure. So just kind of going in here and shadowing this and then I need a little bit of a darker 
shade in the middle here. So I'm just going to get a little bit of black and a little bit of my glazing medium. If you don't have glazing medium, just use water. And I'm going to go in here and darken up this area where this scarf goes up underneath there and where it kind of folds right here. So just adding a little bit of a shadow right there over the top of my colors. Make sure my colors are dry, which they're not. So they're kind of blending here a little bit, but <coughs> I can go back in here and add a little bit of white where it comes up out right here. Okay. And then I'm going to get a little bit of that darker blue. Just add some darker little lines now through make some knots and just do some random little stitches Same thing, just kind of adding little stitchy stitches, little dabs that look like stitches maybe. Little dots, that's all you're going to have to do. I'm going to zigzag them or whatever you need, want to do to make them kind of look like stitches. Doesn't Your eye is going to fill in the dots, so you don't really have to do a whole lot with this kind of thing. Just kind of Add a little bit of detail, a little bit of a contrasting color. See that? Cute. Looks kind of fluffy. I'm, gonna, I'm probably doing the record for cute tonight, sorry. Snowmen's always get me. Adding some little white fluffies here. Let's just say, if it was a drinking game, we would have lost our audience by now. <laughs> They'd have been gone under by now. All right, getting some magenta and the cadmium reds, just making a light, light version of my red hair. Maybe a little bit darker than that. I just want a little bit of a highlight color to dab in here to make my little stitchy de details and to paint in some little streamers coming down okay, that's going down into that dark area I don't want too much of that going down in there I can get that dark color and kind of add it where it's kind of going up into that dark area there little dabbies my reds light reds oh I was supposed to have a no that's what I okay never mind I thought I missed a green but I didn't I'm gonna wiggle in some reds. I 
And this knot here is a little bit higher. For my white one, I'm just gonna use maybe a little bit of blue and just shadow underneath my knot a little bit with that darker blue. I already kind of put some of the highlights on here. I just kind of didn't like what was going on there. I might get a little bit of the gray. Just make a... There we go. Just a little dark. You need that contrast. And then my pink one. And then we'll be done. You can add some snow and... Go get some dinner. <laughs> you are speaking my love language. <laughs> Magenta, a little bit of phthalo blue. Got some of it left over here. Run it through, just going a little bit darker with it. And gonna use it to dab in some details here. Get some white and highlight the top of my knot there. Again, I'm going in a lot more detail here than you have to on yours. Just do whatever, you know, you are comfortable with. I think the one that we did last year, we did like a red scarf. You could do something like that on there. Just uh, the only, the main thing is just kind of having some sort of contrast here. So I kind of started with the middle color, highlighted with the lighter color, shadowed with the darker color. And that way we've got kind of a little color story going on here okay um, I'm happy with that so my the only thing I'm seeing is my green does not have any kind of contrast here so I'm just going to try to get some of that darker green here and just just, just do a few little zigzaggies with the darker green Okay, so I'm noticing over here he's kind of disappearing over here, so I'm just going to get a little bit of that darker blue, ultramarine blue, burnt, and uh, phthalo blue. And I'm just going to go in a little bit darker right here. Or I could go lighter on here and I might do both. So I'll go a little bit darker right there and then on this part I'm gonna get a little bit of white and I'll just go a little bit lighter on that part. Let's swirl some snow up here. My brush and hold it really far back here and just kind of swirl. Totally leave this out if this stresses you out, but I just, again, just another little level of detail if you want to. Using the end of my brush will kind of help keep it. Mark, I'm way off camera here, honey. should fire them. Mm -hmm. 
He's gonna pay for Taco Tuesday if you if I fire you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there we go. So just did kind of some swirlies. You can leave those out if you don't want them. I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about it, but I think it kind of looks like it's kind of kicking up some stuff maybe. Let's uh, splatter. Do some snows. You could do snowflake, big snowflakes if you wanted to. I, I did that in the last video last year, so I keep mentioning that other snowman video, but it was really cute and... It was just the face, so. It's doing good different size snowflakes, I like it. Yeah. Is Dave watching? No. Oh. We it's have not, not Dave. seen Dave. Alright, um, I'm gonna get some Q-tip and get some glaze medium, a little bit of that. So you can see how when I did the the um, snowflakes, you have to add water to your white. I didn't mention that when I was doing it, but add water to your white. That will thin down your paint and you'll get nice fluid snowflakes coming off your splatters coming off your brush. If you don't thin it down, it, it'll just stick to your brush and it won't, won't come off. So, when you're doing these, try to keep them kind of random. But adding the glazing medium kind of helps them go on a little bit uh, softer, too. Or you can use zinc white, too, which is a, a transparent white. But there we go. Um, I think I will just add just a little bit of detail to some of these snowflakes with my little 3 aught. I'm just going to go down and crisscross. That's our snowflake shape. And then you can use, you know, your imagination for how you want to fill them in. I might do a V on the ends of all of them. And then larger Vs. Maybe straight lines. Just do a couple of snowflakes here. So a straight line and then an X. Ooh, I'm getting wiggly. I'm trying not to touch my arm down on the canvas, so I'm having a hard time uh, going a straight line here. Let's just do a straight, flat little ends on these. Do a little You can do your snowflakes however you want. There's all kinds of different. So while you're doing that, I'm going to remind everybody about patreon.com slash Angela Fine Art. It's the beginning of the month here in 2020. Sign up, traceables, bonus videos, bingo. Yeah. What kind of things going on this later month? On this month. It's going to be a fun <clears throat> month. So, uh, yeah, go over there, check it out. And thank you to the over 3,000 supporters on there right now. We really appreciate it. Hopefully we still have 3,000. I'm not sure. It's the beginning of the month. We usually lose a few. Uh, well, I think we did. <laughs> I think we, we we did lose some, you know, as that's normal. Fine. Yes, that's normal. Uh, where am I going? Oops. Oh, yeah, patreon.com slash change the fine art. I don't want 
want people going over there and be like, no, he doesn't have 3,000. It's always lower at the, end of the beginning of the month. We had 3,000 before the end of the month. Cur- <laughs> Yesterday we <laughs> Currently we have 3,028. Ooh, thanks, guys. You all stick around. Thank you guys you. are awesome. That's amazing. Little circles, just however you want to do it. These are fun. And we also remind everybody that here in 2020, the 12 days of Christmas, and there's a link down below this video to yes. sign up to be eligible to win stuff. Yeah, community tab. We've got all kinds of different things we're going to be giving away. Some of the the giveaway for today is U.S. only, but the rest of the month is going to be, uh, you know, all kinds of different international prizes too so it's not just not the rest of the month but the rest of the you know giveaways there's different days that are be just us only but most of the days are going to be and more of the days are going to be international than not so anyhow but yeah we've got a lot of fun stuff coming up and uh hope you check that out hope we get some yeah the uh, of our regulars winning <laughs> the the ten dollar level of patreon this month is going to be painting the the one and only Fitz Pickle. Yes, we're painting our little Fitz Pickle puppy. So, yeah, that'll be fun. And uh, um, $5 level is doing a really fun landscape, so it'll be really good. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I enjoyed this. hope you guys did, too. I, I really like uh, how it turned out. Yeah. I always, I don't know, something about painting snowmen just feels like Christmas to me. It always kind of is relaxing, and um, I just really... Hope you enjoy it too. So, and check out all the uh, the videos if you're new. Like, subscribe, go over there. You know, got a bunch of different Christmas videos. I've got yeah. I think my Christmas vid- Christmas playlist is featured. So if you want to see the other um, snowman that I was talking about um, and of the other um, multitude of Christmas videos that I've done over the years, they're down there in my. Just click on my name or my photo, and it'll take you to my channel homepage there. And then the community tab is where we're give, doing the giveaway this month. So, or this the last twelve days, twelve days, these twelve days, not the whole month. But mm-hmm. sorry. Anyhow, all right. Well, yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, we'll see you on Saturday. We're going to be painting. What are we painting? A chipmunk. I think it'll be fun. Mm-hmm. Hope you. Come and join us for that. So, all right. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.